I thought they just keep coming. There's a, a lot of girls in this. Oh, she, <laughs> she's so arrogant in his face. Her voice is so cute. She's got a lot of control too. Hello fellow anime geeks and welcome to another review on my never-ending quest to try every anime series that I can. As usual, I'm structuring my thoughts by answering these four questions and today I'm talking about another mixed media project anime, Idly Pride. And I've got to say, you guys, I think this is one of those rare single core anime original about a group of cute girls trying to become pop idols that is actually good. Part for the course, as an anime released with not a lot of international hype, this got Mal's default single genre tag, music. And as I mentioned, this is about pop idols, but much like 22-7 or Zombieland Saga, there's a supernatural element and a surprisingly heartwarming storyline. But Idly Pride isn't as dark as 227 or as funny as Zombieland Saga. Instead, it's more of a sweet drama along the lines of Fumun wo Sagashite. Both of these deal with the same sort of themes, the afterlife and unfinished business, and they share a lot of the same dramatic plot points of the idol industry, dealing with the press, identity and finding your own sound, and unexpected connections in the music industry. This is a sweet, comforting, and complete drama with a supernatural flair and a pop idol premise. Okay, this is where it gets tricky. I don't want you guys to miss out on any tearful moments. Sorry, not sorry. So I'm not gonna spoil any main plot points, but I think general premise is fair game. And I just wanna say that I was so relieved that this is not a mega harem, especially after counting 10 girls in the opening scene. No, this is a story of a group of girls and their journey from auditions and scouting to participating in a lucrative nationwide competition. Their manager is older, not a potential love interest, and for once actually integral to the main plot line. There's a good balance of behind the scenes bonding time, dramatic subplots, concerts, and new character introductions. In fact, full concert sequences are reserved for when they will be important for the main plotline. A lot like Carol and Tuesday, this has kind of like a sports anime style plot progression. Speaking of concert sequences, this has got to have one of the best, most seamless transitions between landscape CG motion shots and 2D focus shots on the characters that I've ever seen in an anime. And and this is kind of a little thing, but I also really appreciated being able to tell them apart. I've had a really hard time with just indistinguishably cute copy pasta face types in anime recently. And I also really appreciated that these girls had a distinct and complex personality to match. They weren't just single character trait 2D yomes like in Surfing Yape or frankly most collectionist style anime. No, I mean, there was some fan service, but these girls weren't just something cute to look at. But I'm probably most impressed by all of the extra material that I didn't even know existed. Idly Pride is listed as an original anime on Lifechart and Mal, but the music was just so well executed that I thought but is this part of a bigger franchise? And it is, so I think that either the anime spearheaded the project or it was some sort of large concurrent mixed media release. Now this music genre isn't in my personal taste, but these girls can sing and you can tell that they've gone through the trouble of creating all of these different themes and lyrics that match each of their different personalities. Even the choreography seem perfectly tailored to match the lyrics and the sound of each of these fictional groups. One of my favorites was actually uh, these this bell swaying move that was perfectly timed to fit the bell sound bite in one of the backing tracks. Which actually just reminded me of Stray Kids Backdoor. And this music collection is not only large, but fully playable on their project website and YouTube channel, along with live performances and seiyuu events and games. Um, I also thought that it was their project website is a really nice user experience, but I thought it was a really cute, uh, nice touch to have a different randomized character shot of each of the girls in all of the page footers. But is the anime worthwhile? Well, I can't say that it's devoid of any nonsensical, weird little writing blenders. I mean, does it make sense that a high school student is gonna be scouted for a managerial position and as a condition for the approval of this idol? Did this kid not have any other personal aspirations? Why did he even get scouted in the first place? Do supernatural phenomena have some sort of two year gap requirement? And am I supposed to believe that if you run a successful idol company, you don't already have vocal and dance coaches in place before hiring new idols? 
And I'm sorry, but an AI scoring system in an otherwise not sci-fi environment at all just seems like a skate leading level excuse for not wanting to write an actual rubric for how to judge this art form. But then there's just such lovely attention to detail in other areas. There's the subtle change in aspect ratio and the flashback sequence in the beginning, the consistent and well-paced character development, the super well foreshadowed revelations in, throughout the whole plot line, and the fact that the whole main storyline is actually super moving. I mean, if you're not cutting onions at the end, then there's something wrong with your tear ducts. So yes, overall, I think that this is worthwhile if you like compelling sweet storylines and cute girls. And on that note, I'll catch you in the next video. This isn't sad, is it? Is this gonna get sad? Oh, I'm getting a bad feeling about all of this. Oh, I betcha here's the sad part. I knew it! Oh, what? Wow, I wasn't expecting that. That was surprisingly cute.